Hello everyone, and welcome back to Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved Expert Mode with my, myself, Blue Star. I'm up here at the bottom um, of my mob grinder, checking to see how it's doing. You know, got a blitz, I guess, above me that I can hear. Um, a couple of spiders, I see a skeleton on the mini map, but, and that stuff basically. So, let's get down, get away from this noise at least. I'm actually thinking I'm having a little bit, little bit of an issue with it, um, because I've been doing a lot of work. You'll, we'll see in just a second. But this is all I've gotten. Eh, not the best. I think when I'm down there in the second level of my base, I'm too far away, and what spawns up there just sits up there and it doesn't come down. And then that blitz himself doesn't come down a lot too well. So I may need to chop it down and lower it a little bit. Uh, we'll see. Um, finished putting the walls around, put doors on it. Got glass windows in here. This is the Tinker's glass. Simply just smelt uh, sand in the Tinker's construct. There's something falling. Um, and you'll get the Tinker's glass. Um, these are carpenter doors. What I like about the carpenter door is a link. Um, show you this real quick. Aha. Blitz. The blitz died. Um, if you do the right and left door, they won't link up. But, put it the other way, left and right, they automatically tie together, making it very easy to get in and out. I haven't put a roof on it yet, um, just lit it up that way, you know, nothing at least spawns in here naturally. Still trying to figure out how I want to do the roof, if I just want to leave it one story like this, or if I want to do more. Got the floor in, um, so that's this level, like I said, I ain't, haven't finished that up yet. Um, went around, put this, this is actually the wall inside, you'll see it in just a second, because I'm going to cover this. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So obviously, that floor makes my roof. I use the cobblestone, huge cobblestone tiles um, from the chisel pack here on the sides. And then I use the cobblestone with dent for the floor. And I just realized one of the things I forgot to do when I went upstairs is I wanted to plant this guy. I found an uh, uh, ender lily seed. So for now, that's going to be a good spot for you. Ooh, something died. I was hoping to get more endermen in there, Don. But I hadn't. Like I said, I think I think I got a little too high, especially when I'm down in here. So got it wrapped. Got it. Got this room leveled out and wrapped around. Went ahead and set up my high steam engines here. Um, something I didn't know, and it was disappointing, is it does not store its power. From the second it runs out of energy, it starts to lose its power. So, but it's my only power source right now, so we'll go with it. Um, downstairs is not too much of a change. I think you've, yeah, y'all have I've seen all this. Yeah, because I built those two guys last time. Um, I did find an underwater cave, um, which is why I do have that first death point right there. I kept hearing a zombie underneath me. It drove me nuts, so I dug him out, or tried to dig him out, and yeah, he had a witch with him. So witch, witch plus zombie against me equals oops. Yeah. So my first death of the game. Darn it. Oh well, it's about, it was bound to happen. I've been back and forth to my spawn place because I hadn't make it, made a mine shaft over here mainly because I already got that ripped open. So I run over there and mine it a little bit. Come with a lot of different you know materials here. I had to make another chest to collect all this stuff. So, that brings me today. Um, off screen, I was looking at the guidebook a little bit here for the tech tree. Uh, machinery is the first basic machines they tell you to build. They want a carpenter, they want this thermionic fabricator. 
Um, they also, you know, mentioned, you know, got to be able to kill the chest to make the thermionic fabricator. Um, then they talk about the assembly table, the laser for it. Um, and then last but not least is the rock crusher. Um, I'm going to need all those pieces to get things going. So I tried to lay things out and start getting prepped here to do a lot of this on screen for us. So first one they talked about is the carpenter and... There it is. Carpenter. Sturdy casings, four gears, and four bronze. Very simple. Why does this not look familiar? Four bronze, four gears. Thank you. One, one, two, three, four. And we have a sturdy casing. Then you just want bronze around it. I have this laid out where I could easily find this stuff and then now I'm having issues. Oh. Bronze there. If I do it right. Glass there. And bronze. There's our carpenter. Ta-da! Our first machine. Next up is the Thermi Attic Fabricator, which they want another sturdy casing. For some reason, my spacing and trying to figure this stuff out kind of got off. Sturdy casing. Followed by... Oh, well, this is where we need the golden. This is where we need the gold at. We need a chest. We need the iron plates. We need the gold. Then we're going to need these two right here. The next level up. First of all, chest. We've seen how to make that. Just to make an iron chest, wrap it in iron. Very, very simple here. And there's our gold chest. Um, yes, that's right. Three pieces of glass and wrap that in gold. And we get our thermiatic fabricator. Ta da! So one. Two. Okay. Figure out where I put them. I think they're up here. Yes, there they are. I am using the immersive engineering <coughs> LV connector wires to connect this up. One there, one there. That should get them all connected up real quick. So those should be off the list. Next up was what? The assembly table and the lasers. Assembly table first comes from the gold gear and four diamonds. Well, to simply get the gold gear, first you have to make a stone gear, and then you have to make the uh, pattern here for it, which a stone gear is pretty simple to make. I'll take you down for a minute. Thank you. Pour gold in there. We'll let that smelt real quick. Um, to make this stone gear, it's very, very simple. Um, as soon as I find the correct buttons, I'll show it to you. Okay, they just show you smelting the gold, but a stone gear. Gear. To make the stone gear, you have to make a wooden gear and wrap it in, in cobblestone, which that comes from four sticks. Once you get that, you've seen me make these 
presses for. They're very simple. Um, four gold ingots are melted. Tell it to spill out in the gear. Because the hopper should drop in the chest very shortly. There it is. And then to get our four gear, to get our golden, our diamond gear. Just wrap in diamonds. Ta da! Very simple. I think I have this one memor memorized. There's our assembly table. And then we need to make the laser. Which laser should be everything else that's left. I love when it spreads out like that. You can't even see stuff. Okay, laser. We need five diamonds, four obsidian, and we got extra redstone. Why do I have extra redstone? Oh, that's right. Because I need to make. The diamond electron tube. That's why we had to have the fabricator over there. No biggie. Doom, doom. Oops, may help if I bring something to power it up with. We'll grab some charcoal. So the diamond pattern was five diamonds. Two redstone. Did I do that correctly? Let's double check. Yes, that will make four of them. So now I need a piece of sand. And then just power. That does require a redstone signal. So I have to flip the switch. Give it a minute here to heat up. Well, guess what? I'm kind of impatient. This is going to be overkill. I don't need this much power, but it'll get this done faster for us by getting all three of them up and going. Because this power bar is a little kind of high. Yep. Now, depending on what you're using, charcoal, coal, or um, coal coke, um, creates different heat levels, maximum heat levels it reaches. And the hotter you can get, the faster it'll go, the more power you get um, out of it. I don't have a measurement of that. Well, maybe we can, because we've got three of them, we can do an experiment a little bit later to see that. Okay. We're not really getting power. This is pretty decent, 10. That one's pretty decent, almost 10. That one's climbing up to it. Come on. There it goes, finally. I don't think the sand's mattering, but you give it a minute. You're dropping in temperature. Ah! One, two. Come on. All three of you cannot produce enough power to get this th get, to make this one little thing. It's kind of sad.
There it goes. It made it. I just thought of something real quick. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. I know I'm going to need more eventually. Oh, I didn't get them. Oh, I hate when I do that. It all did it was moving around the chest. It didn't bring it with me. Well, now look at all the power. I finally got up some temperature in there. Oh, there's our tubes. And there's at least two lasers. We got enough material to make two more, don't we? Do I have the obsidian? One, two, three, four. that much but four lasers but uh we get four lasers okay um sand sand's not gonna work real quick I need coal stone give me much coal stone coal stone really Okay. Do this against the wall here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Laser. Two, three. One. Didn't need all those. Okay. One, one, one. I need more of those. Those are the... LV, 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 these guys right here. That gives me another eight real quick. There. Let's put one there. So we need to connect all these. One to there, you to there, you to there, then you to there and then you down to here I should start pre-charging these guys thank you oh, I got that extra power just being pumped out then <coughs> there's our assembly table I don't want to waste all this power that they're producing that one's almost got 32,000 RF. So, um, now that that's built, um, gear, got the laser, got the assembly table, the thermal fabricator, the carpenter. We built all that stuff. There's our first basic machine, so we've made our first diamond electron tubes, which were used to make our lasers. Um, eventually, I know we're going to need more. I just know the more of these lasers you get when you're trying to assemble something, the faster it goes. Um, basic example. I know stuff I'm need. One, two, three.
are these guys. As you can see, all the lasers should start to come on there. They probably won't, you know, get full power. Looks like they're getting close to it. Three of them are blue. Um, it's all going to depend on power, and I'm not using the best conduit right now because my supplies are a little limited. But as you can see, it transfers power here. Um, it's trying to make this chipset right here. It needs 200,000 RF. We're up to 41,000 in climbing, and we don't have a constant um, power supply yet. So. Real simple, we're working on it. We're trying to build these chipsets. Um, what else we got going? I notice my four chamber's almost busted here, unfortunately. The last thing in the guidebook that it wanted us to build was the rock crusher. Yes, the rock crusher. Simple four pistons, um, four diamonds, and I believe that is a steel rock crush yes just a steel plate so steel plate's very simple it's just you know nine pieces of steel as you see it's trying to separate it right back out um needed let's do that this is a multi-block structure this guy right here says it's a two by three I think. Oh three three by two two. Of course, if I would read it, that says crowbar, doesn't it? I don't have a crowbar on me, do I? Nope. If I could count, I wouldn't have an issue. There's the bottom one. I know it just needs a little bit of power too. That'll start <coughs> building power. There you go. Okay. How are you guys doing? You're running out of steam, huh? We got a bunch of stuff here to craft, and this guy needs charging, so full power. Let's go. Energy cell. Need something to store it. Leadstone, harden up. Got to start with the lead. You're going to need some 10 electron tubes, which is 10 in redstone. You're going to need this guy, which is wire and rubber and redstone. Then you need the frame, which is glass. That's not a problem. Then we need electron. I'm thinking I need to get all, I need to take this one out right here. Put an energy cell there. To let this guy, all three of these guys, just shove power into. But that'll finish this first chapter right here. This machine two. Is it mission power options? You know, we got the. We could have. We could have built this guy. Um, I think he's a little quieter. Um, there's a hobbyist steam engine. Talking about it. Um, you know, they said it's a little bit better than that one because it can get up to 20 RF a tick, where the other guy can only do 5 a tick. Um, then down here they're talking about the peat bog. Let's see, let's see, read this bit. Peat, peat fired engines produce good amounts of RF at a decent rate, but require a peat, product, peat producing peat bog before they can be used. Surround a block of water with up to two blocks of bogged earth it can take up to two minecraft days for the bog earth to become peat 
Once it does, break the peat block to get a block of dirt and a brick of peat into your peat to go into your engines. Hmm. I don't think we can do that. There's where it's talking about the gear. I already knew how to do that. Yeah. So next up is IC2 Machine 3s. Um, and then I think they're talking about the metal former being the very first one they want us to build. Yes, to make the metal former you will need several sub recipes. Metal former... I should have left that. Energy... Cell. I don't know what it's called, but if you ever want to put multiple things down here, I had to learn that thing. The sh the line normally above your inner key, the straight up and down one, it's a shift function. You know, if you just tap it normally, you get the backslash there. But the shift side does this, and then you can put it in the second one. So, what are we after? We're after the machine... What is it? The metal former or machine... Metal former. At tool form. I did it wrong. There it is, right there. Metal former. We're gonna need this chip again. We're gonna need some toolboxes, which is using the hammer. We may have to build another hammer. Our hammer is pretty weak. Then we're gonna need some wire, which I need some tins and a snip and a snippers there. So um, let me see if I can get some of this stuff together, guys, to build the metal former here. Um, I'm gonna need some rubber um, cooked down. That's no big deal. I've got the rubber. I'm gonna need some iron, some redstone. So I'll work on the. Ooh, this guy might. Be, oh, there's there it is. That there's that chip. I'm glad I remembered it real quick and threw it in there. So we need this guy. We need one of these real quick. Um, another note real quick. Is this assembly table? When it's done, we'll automatically just throw the piece out. And it can despawn. So do not forget to give it a chest. That way it's got a place to put it. It will eject right into a chest that is next to it, if you have one connected to it. There we go. Look at that. Ooh, yellow. Get some. I am really thinking this is being held back because the power wire can't handle the transfer. may just be too much for it. So I'll be back when this gets done. I'll get the other pieces ready, guys, and I'll see you in a little bit. Hello, guys, and welcome back. I end up going and getting a couple pieces of cold coke and tossing in here to you know, get some more power going. But we did get our iron chip set here. Um, a redstone chip's produced since then, and another iron chip's on the way. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... Went ahead and got the bronze here. Just literally, I just smashed it with a hammer. Smash it uh, a couple pieces of bronze with a hammer gives you plate. Smash it again gives the casing. So we got two of these. They don't stack, unfortunately. Um, our chipset, industrial copper, just simply made from a piece of rubber and a piece of copper wire. Pretty simple to get it. Um, so you guys can see if you didn't need to know how, you just take a copper plate that you smashed, cut it with a pair of cutters, which cutters made from iron. Pretty simple. Like I said, this machine's kind of, you know, one of the easier ones to make. Here's the coil that we need to make. We need to make a lot of these, actually. 
may need some iron. Thank you. There's all three of those. I probably need to make the machine casing first, duh. There's it. Now this should work. Why didn't it work? Should have just loaded it, all these up here for me. And there's our metal former. Yay, we get a metal former. Um, she there for right now. You're gonna have to connect up to power somewhere. Probably gonna make a wiring nightmare doing some of this. So wire, 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 wire. LV wire. This guy right here. Copper on a tree to stick. We got tree to stick. We just need copper. Connect you to you. We should start gaining power, I think. Might be slow, but it should. There it goes. It's slow, but it's charging. It's charging! We have our very first industrial craft two piece. Now the cool thing I like about the metal former is if you saw earlier to make a plate I need two pieces of iron. But this guy has different modes. It has extruding mode, rolling mode, and cutting mode. So if I put it on rolling mode, give it a piece of iron, it'll start to process here. And of course we're out of power. You're noisy. You're noisy. Very noisy. Come on. Fine. We'll do another round of cold cook for each of you. And there's our iron plate. One for one now, instead of two for one. So, definitely will help out. Um, there's our IC2. We got it going. And now that we have him, that actually leads us to the next step. Um, down here. Do, 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 do. Metal former. Does you know the different ways the, the IC2 machine works. And that's really what the IC2 tab is all about. Because now they move you into more power. Because obviously those are not doing that great. They're noisy. They stink. Um, and all the early engine and powers you can um, lead that way. But if you read through here, um, I've already read a little bit. You know, at this point you maybe need to fill up more power. Obviously we do. There's more many options, you know, but for example, a water wheel, you'll need a good amount of treated wood, some IC, some IC2 machines to make the, part, the parts for the wheel. Um, connect water wheel. Um, recipes changed a little bit. Not much, really. This is the main piece that's changed, is that one right there. I think it used to just be a piece of iron to make the water wheel. And then this has definitely got an overhaul. So let's look at that. Um, we'll erase this right now. At applied. Oops, I typed the wrong thing. At immersive. So, we need a kinetic dynamo. This guy's new, the MV capacitor. 
Redstone, tree of wood, electron lead. Not that hard. We can make that. Redstone, some steel, iron, and this is the MV coil, which is just electron around the ele electrum around the stick. So that's not too hard. Um, so we can make the kinetic dynamo here. Now the water wheel itself. Come on, there it is. Water wheel segment, which is treated stick and treated planks. That's not too hard. The iron shaft right here. Only way to get the iron shaft is through the metal former. A block of iron through the metal former on extruding mode just to get the wheel, the centerpiece. The rest of it's all treated creosote. We got a bunch of creosote down here um, from the coke oven running. Um, so that way I can get rid of these noisy guys that are slowly starting to drive me nuts. So I'd like to stand away from them right now because how noisy they are. Um, now that we have the metal former, we did all of this just to get the metal former going. Um, the only exception that's the carpenter. We didn't actually have to use the carpenter quite yet, but we will probably here in the near future. Um, real quick, if I can bear the noise. Um, you haven't had to see me put water in these guys because I did something off screen when I placed these. Look back there, there's a transfer node back there. And he's got the world intergra interaction upgrade in him. That way he can lift water. Is all you got to literally do is make a water block source, you know, an infinite water source, put something under it that we can initially place it, then break it out from underneath. That way it'll generate water under it. Put that in there and it'll pump water down its pipe and anything that's connected to. So these engines, no matter what, are staying pumped full of water just from that one transfer node back there. He's easily able to keep all three of them full. It looks like he's fully powered. We said extruding mode. Let's get right in here. Why are we wasting time talking about stuff when we got work to do? I don't get the bottles back. Oh, that's right. Those were given to me. I found all of those bottles. I never made a bottle. Okay. I guess it'll be nice. So, if we're going to make a water wheel, we need eight of these, which requires four sticks, four times eight is 32 sticks. the eight. There's our iron shaft. Thank you. And our water wheel. We have a water wheel. Now I'm not going to leave it here, but I'm just going to plop it against the wall so you guys get to see this thing. And as you can see, can't plop it there because there's not enough space. This thing is huge. Um, yeah, the wall's a little bit taller. May need to move the torch though. There we go. Look at this thing. So it's actually in that block there, so we gotta go down one. So one, two, 
three. So three full blocks to get to the middle. So it's five blocks tall. Well, that's the water wheel. So obviously I'm gonna build this guy. I'll go ahead and make the uh, kinetic dynamo also. As we've seen, we've already looked at the recipe here, guys. It's pretty easy. Um, I'll get that built, try to figure out how to how and where I want to put the water wheel. I know my power that I'm currently using is right there. All them noisy guys are right up there. Probably literally sitting right there if I broke through. Um, so I'll get that figured out off screen, figure out where I'm going to put that and get him set up. Um, and I'll see you around next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey guys, I know I was going to end the video there, but I want to bring you back just real quick, just to show you real quick. Um, as you can see, look how powerful the lasers already are. If we look at the assembly table right here, a constant 25 RF a tick is what's coming to them. Um, pretty ugly wiring around right now. I will be working on this. Um, Come down here and show you the water wheel real quick. I did get the water wheel running. This is what's powering it right now. I just kind of just shut it out here in the corner. I've got one bucket of water. It's kind of hard to see. Let's see if I can put a torch here and light it up a little bit. I've got one sort water source right there above that blade. It's running across the top, coming down here, falling down, hitting that block there, then going underneath and coming back here like this. Um, and, uh, you know, it's only pulsing here, but, you know, the lasers are showing a constant 25 RF a tick. Um, that is what we were barely spiking with all three of the Hyvula steam engines running that I had here. I pulled them up and I just literally connected the wires real quick. Um, so constant 25 RF a tick free no coal no nothing it's just a constant supply right now and that's just one water wheel that's just one um i've heard if i can link three of them together you know it even gets more powerful so real quick before i end this video that way you know a little bit of expect uh, uh know a little bit what to expect next time we come back um we're gonna have a lot more power going um, ah, what I do that for? Wrong one. That's why I did that. Connect that to that. And that to that. And everybody should be powered up again. I know it's ugly. Like I said, I'll reroute and fix a lot of this wiring stuff a little bit later. Um, ooh, it dropped a 20 RF tick when I did that. Somebody's pulling power. I think it's thir I think it's you. It is you. You're fully charged. You're fully charged. You're a power hog. No, 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 no. That's the way you're going to be. Don't leave him hooked up to power. He's a, He trains it on you. back to, up to 25 yes we are so like I said I just want to bring you back real quick just to show you that guys um, I have heard not to jump on this guy I have heard jumping on you is bad we'll do that just to make sure I don't ever jump up there yeah something about if you jump up here on top of this guy you can fall in it it will kill you and then everything in your inventory gets eaten with it and you lose it all. So, very bad idea to ever jump on him. So, alright guys, I'll continue working. Um, that's the water wheel. Obviously, I want a little bit more than 25 RF a tick. Um, but 25 steady is better than 25 spikes. Um, and it's free. So, catch you next time. Bye bye.